Hello and welcome to Lord of the Board. My name is Sam and today I thought it would be a really fun idea for me to do a video based on creating your own root board game map. I wanted to kind of show how easy it was to kind of have a nice starting point for making one of these. And to prove that to you, I was actually gonna be making one with you live here as we're talking. And I'm not gonna be doing any edits or real cuts. I'm just gonna be showing basically what I'm working on as I'm working on it. Uh, so this is really going to be pretty raw. So I've got my, my iPad here. The only thing that you will need um, in order to do this for yourself is just a pen and paper. That's all you'll need. Um, I would recommend doing it in pencil or something where you can erase. And also if you have like a blue marker, that would be handy. And um, a red marker would also be handy. Um, but other than that, um, that is pretty much it. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to basically draw uh, 12 circles on your, your uh, paper. So let's see here. So we're just going to basically make um, some circles. Oh gosh, that was already a terrible, terrible circle. Okay, so that's a much better circle. Um, and we are going to make 12 of these guys. We're just going to copy these. We are going to uh, get these merged down. Um, I'm just making it easier because I've got the handy ability to just kind of do it through the iPad here. Okay, so we've got four. Let's copy, bring down again. Okay, so that's four more. And booyah. That's all we need to do. So now that we have got 12 circles on our paper, now what we're going to do is we are going to basically draw lines between these circles. And I'm not going to really give you many rules with this part because I feel like being creative is really fun, but just so you know, these are the paths in the game. And one easy way to kind of approach it is to try to make a pattern that repeats from one side to the other. That's for a more symmetric uh, map. If you want it to be more asymmetric, you can just kind of just put the lines anywhere and see kind of what happens, right? So for this example, I'm just gonna start drawing some lines. So I think those should connect. I would recommend that a, a circle is connected to at least two circles, two other circles. So I'm gonna do that. Um, okay, let's do this and that. Uh, let's do this, cause that looks interesting. This, this, okay, okay. Uh, let's do this, this, here, here, um, here, here. We're literally just kind of making lines right now. Okay. And there we go. Let's say that that is going to be the way that we made our, basically our paths. So now that we've done that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna be putting boxes into these circles. Typically a route map has around the range of 20 to 22 of these boxes and these are the building slots. So I want you to basically just put 22 of these squares around inside of these circles and kind of the organization of those, I feel like you should just get creative and just kind of do it. So for this example, let's just kind of start. We're gonna start from the top left corner here and we're just gonna make our way and see what happens. So I'm going to start with one square here. And I'm not gonna go, I'm not gonna go crazy about you know making it perfect, but I think this one should be two. So now we're at three. We're gonna go four, five, six. We're gonna do seven, okay, we're gonna go eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 
So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Uh, okay, let's go 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. We actually probably should have put one at least in every one of them. So we're at 18. Um, let's do 19. Uh, let's do 20. And hmm, 21. And 22. All right, so now that we've gotten 22 boxes inside of our clearing circles there, the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take four of these uh, boxes and we're gonna put a red R on it. Um, so let's do that. We're just basically just gonna write the letter R. Um, for this, I would recommend not doing it on a spot that has um, only one clearing in it. Um, but hey, who knows, you know, creativity is creativity. I'm going to actually put one on each of the three, spl three spots on my map. So I'll put one there and one there. Um, oh, somehow erased this R, my bad. Okay, so now we've got two of those and let's see where else I should do it. Okay, let's do one right here. And last one, ooh, let's do it right. Ooh, those are way too close. Eh, we'll see how this goes. I'll put one right there. Okay, so now I've got my four R's on the board here. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna change over to a blue color. And we need to make a river so in order to do that let us go ahead and make the river so i'm gonna go ahead and just put this through at least three clearings is my goal um, it could go through more and don't make them adjacent clearings is probably the first thing that you'd want to do so you wouldn't want to for example go lake 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 because you could do that with regular movement there's there's no point this right here though looks like a good spot to kind of start it because i feel like these two connecting just makes sense because you're cutting a little bit with some of the paths and i think that if we cut through here that could be really interesting because it's a lot of ground covered in kind of just two move movements there so that is my river uh and so now we've got the river we've got the clearings we've got the ruins guys this is a route map i just created one right here right now and it's totally playable the only thing is in order to make it easier for you i would recommend grabbing four pieces of printer paper and bloating out your design to fit generally that. And you can even use the components of root like these squares in order to trace the squares. The next thing that you should do with your map design is you really need to practice and play with that map. So play the map, figure out what works, what doesn't, what feels clunky, what feels super weird, all of that, those are the things that you're going to find out if you play the map. Keep playing, keep making iterations, erasing paths, adding paths. Maybe the ruins shouldn't be so close. Um, you know, are the forests too big? You know, you got to try out all of this stuff, but that's kind of the fun of making a map. A really, really, really good resource is actually the Woodland uh, Warriors Discord channel. There's a whole fan um, creation section in there where they have threads of people that are pr promoting, uh, you know, factions that they've made, maps that they've designed. Um, I would recommend that once you get to a point where your map feels fun and maybe semi-balanced, post it on there, get some feedback from other people. There are so many nice people that actually want to kind of help out with this sort of stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and have a link down below to that Discord channel. And I hope that this was educational for you. I hope that you actually followed along. And if you did, let me know. I would absolutely love to see if you did follow along, please post your design that you made in the same time span that I made this design. You can do it in the Discord channel. That'd probably be the easiest way for me to see it. So why don't you go ahead and just post it in the root chat in my Discord channel. I'll have that link down below. Go ahead and join up. I would love to see what 
you guys came up with with this um, little tutorial. But that is it for the video. Go, go create some cool stuff, make some cool things. Uh, that's what it's really all about. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Let's go ahead and drop the beat. Yeah.